started with our warm up. So can we push this fluffy mat out of the way that way? Push the fluffy mat out of the way, girls. Let's go. All right, guys, I'm here with my level twos. We're going to be doing a level two bar practice live with you all. This is Coach Victoria here. Let's go ahead and get started with our warm up right away. I would like for you ladies to put your hands on the edge of the floor if you can. If you can't, that's all right. But we're going to get into our push up position. We always do a consistent warm up um, this way. Hey, girls. Let's make enough space for each other, all right? Push your back up into the air. Push your shoulders forwards. Keep your head neutral, bottom tight, hips flat. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Great job, ladies. Our next exercise is a candlestick hold, right? Make sure we're spread out, not kicking our teammates because that would hurt. 10, 9, 8, hips flat, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You can pass on through, guys. Okay, girls, the next thing is the crunch hold. Go ahead into your crunch hold position. Knees bent, arms forward. Isabel, let's get our feet up onto the mat, sweetheart. And head neutral. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job, ladies. All right, I would like to see three glide swings, three pullovers, and three back hip circles. Make sure when we go to do our um, back hip circles, ladies, that we have a fluffy mat underneath that bar. So we are just doing our consistent warm up, the same warm up that we do all the time when we go to bars. Girls, let's make sure that we are really, really using our best form. We make sure during our warm up that we get our level two skills in there um, because we don't always work all of them every single day. We don't always detail work all of them. So we want to make sure that at least during warm up, we're doing our level two skills. Amelia, let's not get kicked in the head, sweetheart. So let's move back. Yes. Very important to not get kicked in the head. Does anybody else that coaches have their kids always stand behind girls that are about to do a cast and almost get their teeth knocked out? I'm going to have to call the tooth fairy. You went to the dentist today, and it would be a shame if you just went to the dentist today, and then you come to practice, you get your teeth knocked out by a girl doing a cast, wouldn't it? Yeah. All right, girls, and when you are done with your warm-up, I'll have you sit down over there so I can explain to you what we're going to be doing today. Guys, today we're going to be working on casts, um, the cast cast specifically. So what we're going to be working on is uh, spotting and shaping the casts. We're going to be working on casting with an object between our legs so that we can um, make sure that we're holding our legs tight together. And then we're also going to be working on the pike compression and the cast shape. Lane, would you go ahead and set up the cast shape drill um, underneath the monkey bar so you can move that pit pillow out of the way. Put a floor bar there, raise the floor bar up just a little bit, and put a ball behind it so that they can work on their core stability. You can use the parallettes or a regular floor bar, but you definitely want to lift it up off the ground a little bit. Yes. Yes, ma'am. What's your question? Uh, no, I don't need any help. Thank you so much, though, for offering. That was very nice. I thought you said scary nice. That was scary nice in the spirit of Halloween. So this is preseason for these girls. Um, so we have not yet competed level two. Um, we actually start competition season in January, and right now it is October, spooky season. That was really pretty, so we Ellie. Have two meets in January. That one of them, they're just like ten days apart, right? Um, I believe so. I don't have the I'm competition like, season so schedule memorized. Which one will, do you know which ones will have a Friday connected to it? I do not know. We have maybe the fourth competition. Right? I meets and competitions are the same thing. Oh yeah. I yes, um, like four days apart. I called Ellie Dunning. So you just need to raise the floor bar, so you have to put a mat underneath the floor bar. You could put a wall, that would be perfect. What's your new nickname? Frankie. Frankie. Okay. I call her Works for me. dinner table because she looks like my daddy. Huh? I don't, oh, I see. 
Good, Callie. Tight toes, tight toes. Callie's finishing up our warm up right now. Like I said, we just like to do a little run through of all of our level two skills each day. We're actually working on a huge expansion right now. Um, so we are adding an additional 6,000 square feet to our building, um, adding a foam pit, and that's gonna be kind of our competitive team training area. So you guys will see some live videos from there very soon. All right, sounds good. Okay, ladies, let's listen up. Oh, Callie says they can't. All right, listen up. We're gonna go over what we're doing at each of our stations today. All right, we are going to have how many stations? Three stations, all right? And so we'll separate into groups. Over here at this station, you girls are going to be doing a cast cast with something between your feet. I am going to give you something to put between your feet. You are trying to hold it between your feet. Would you girls like to see what it is? Yes. All right, let me grab it. This is fun because it's fall themed. Halloween fall themed. I've got these leaves. So fun. And so you girls are going to put the leaves between your feet. You're doing two casts in a row. How many is that? Two. One, two casts in a row with the leaves between your feet. Okay? Okay. Yes. You're also not going to forget about all of your cast shapes when you're over there, right? Up on this bar with me, I'm going to be spotting you, ladies, hello, I'm going to be spotting you into your cast and making sure that we're in really, really great proper shape with our back pushed up, our hips flat, our belly tight. On our side stations, back here, can I have a demonstrator please? Let's see, um, Ellie, can you show us a pike compression? Yes. So hop up front support. Yep, you're on the wrong side. How are you going to do a pike compression that way? Jump front support, front support, and put your feet in front of you. So this is really good. She's going to have her elbows straight. She's going to lean over and walk her feet out even farther. Yes, that's it. See how she's leaning over that bar? That's the pike compression shape that I would like her to use. Very good. Okay, and let's see who else will be a demonstrator for me. Ella, I need you to be a demonstrator for me over here at this cast shape I'm going to give you girls two different levels of difficulty over here. Let me grab one more ball. Hello. So girls, this is going to be less difficult, the pink ball. Put your hands on the bar so we've elevated the floor bar so that we can lower the angle of the cast shape. And this is going to be how you're going to try to hold, pushing up through your back with your belly nice and tight in that beautiful cast shape. The reason we raise the floor bar is because these girls at this level, level two, aren't usually casting to horizontal yet. Um, so we want to make sure that we keep that cast angle a little bit lower. Now this would be for a horizontal cast, so we want to give them a challenge as well because we're always working upgrades. So hands on there. Yes, great. And this is a more challenging one, okay? The reason why this one's a little less challenging, I'll let you guys see in the camera. I love to use these um, because it has this little handle here, which gives them a little bit more stability when you put it on the ground. That was really good. Also where it's smaller, it's just a little easier to control. Um, so we give them two options. Ladies, let's go ahead and separate into our groups and then we will get started. Everybody can stand up for me. Isabel, I'm gonna have you start over here. Amelia, I'm gonna have you start over here. Ellie, I'm gonna have you start over there with me. Okay. Um, Emma, you can start over here. Callie, over here. Audrey, over there. Ellie, over here. Ella, over there. Other Ella, over there. Great, I'm just gonna set up the camera and then we'll go ahead and we will get started. Um, essentially today, the only thing we're working on is focused on these casts. We just like to occasionally break down some of the skills and just focus on them. This is going to be the coach assisted station over here and you'll see the other stations going on in the background. 
Ellie, I'm just gonna lower this bar a little bit because I'm pretty short, or you know what? Let me grab a spotting block. I'll grab a spotting block so I don't have to lower the bar. We love these Alphonse spotting blocks from Tumble Track. They are seriously the best things. Nope, don't go, it's a coach assisted station. Hey Amelia, don't cast yet, I'm gonna come underneath your bar. But the Alphonse spotting blocks are um, super stable, but also really light, so they're easy to move. Love them. You don't think they're light? Well, kids can move them. Um, a lot of spotting block systems are super heavy, and it's like hard for the kids to move them. Excuse me. They're kind of light. Yes, I'm a little, I'm a little short. It's hard to pull. Mm, yes, I see. And girls, we're going to be at bars until 6:20, so we've got 15 minutes left. So that means we're going to do five minutes per station. Okay? Let's make sure that you guys will be able to see this. Guys, if you're watching today and you like to watch these live videos of us in the busy gym, just doing our thing, um, seeing what the process really looks like, then please give us a like because that's going to help our videos out so much. And subscribe to our channel. Go ahead, do a pullover, Ellie. Thank you for keeping your legs tight together. Can you scooch over a little bit closer to me? Yes, keep pressure on the bar as you scooch and don't forget to keep your legs tight. Let's do our calf. So again, I'm gonna wrap my hand underneath her bicep and hold onto her bicep so that I can aim her shoulders over the bar. Then I'm gonna grab her thigh and I'm gonna spot the cast. Go ahead, cast. So here we are, I've got my hand on her bicep, my other hand on her thigh, and I want her to flatten out her hips. Flatten your hips. Okay, let's lower your bottom a little bit. Make a straight line with your body. See how you're kind of a triangle? There you go, good, and keep your head neutral. And come back to the bar. Good, that's one cast. We're gonna do two with them. Ready? One more. Good, let's flatten our hips again, so no TP. Don't make a triangle with your body, make a straight line. Put your head neutral, and come back to the bar. Good job, Ellie. Awesome work. Ready, Audrey? You're sweaty. Yes, pull over. Make it a beautiful pull over. Tight legs, tight legs, tight legs. Good. Every time we're on the bar, we want to be tight, right, Audrey? Even if we're just like getting up on the bar, right? And when we do a cast, do we start it from our thighs or do we start it from our hips? Our hips so we can do a big pie compression. Pie compression, cast. Great shape. Can we flatten our hips a little bit more? That's really good understanding of that and keep your head neutral and come back to the bar. Great. Even on the way back down to the bar, I kind of saw you oh, loosen up to come back to the bar. Yeah, what do you think we should do in that situation as we're coming back? Stay tight, that's right. Because when we do a cast into the back hip circle, we don't want to arch and then back hip circle, right? Okay, let's do a pullover again. You've got one more. And so if every time we're touching the bar, we're tight, it just creates the habit of doing that. Okay, oh yes! Wow, what did she do there? What she did there was she thought about the correction that I gave her last time, which was to flatten her hips. She did it incorrect again, but before I could even say anything, she fixed it, and that is the best, best indicator of progress and the best indicator of smartistic gymnastics, right? What is smartistic gymnastics? Um, smart as smart. You're being smart as you do gymnastics, that's right. Okay, elbows nice and tight, and cast. Wow, good. I'm gonna try to pull her legs apart a little bit, see if she's got them tight, good. That was really beautiful. Now what I'm gonna be looking for, as hers looks really, really good, I'm gonna start being more and more picky. They can really only handle like one technical correction at a time. Form corrections are different, so if it's like point your toes and straighten your knees. But a technical correction really deals with the shape of the body. So we're gonna get her to be super round in her shoulders, Yes, at the start of the skill, throughout the skill, and at the completion of the skill. So let's try that again. Keep them round as you come back. Oh, did we see the difference there? Did you feel the difference? That's the important part. Incredible. Oh, Callie, are you throwing leaves back there? Are you girls making sure you're doing two casts in a row with them? Excellent, thank you. Oh, okay. Make sure we're keeping those leaves in there. Go ahead, Ellie. I'll let you do a back hip circle over there, but really focus on the cast cast. Okay, put it on your hips. 
Okay, something's happening. If we're on the bar, should we be loose or tight? We should be tight, not high up on our thighs. I want the bar on your hips because we're gonna, yes. Look how she sank to her hips and her shoulders went to her ears and that's correct. Okay, and cast. Tight, hips flat. Good girl, tight, tight, tight. Back to the bar, one more time. Go. Excellent job, Ellie. That was really good. Woo, hard worker. Okay, who's next? Did you focus on the cast, cast being correct and pushing down on the bar? Good girl, Callie. Go ahead, Audrey. Tight feet. Every time we touch the bar, we want to be what? Tight. Tight, that's right. Oh, oh, we don't want to go to a front support. It's really hard to cast with a front support.